Well, well, good afternoon. Oh, good, good evening, good night in some places. Hello, wherever you are. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, stacked decks, but focus on how to shuffle a stacked deck and it still be in stack. But even more specifically, how to really shuffle a stacked deck and it be in stack without having to do some false shuffle that people just feel in the back of their head that you didn't do something. I don't know. But I'm going to teach you what I do to really shuffle a deck and it be in stack. Let's do it! So this is what it looks like. I'm going to do some magic for some people, whatever. Take my deck out. Like this. I don't have any card. <sighs> okay, I hit this. Hands up, comment below. Who else triumphs their friends? This is a game me and the guys do where, this is legitimately true as well, that we take each other's decks when we're not looking and we shuffle them face up to face down just to screw each other over. And it's been quite funny where we've gone to perform sometimes and we've had to go through the deck. Anyway, so it looks like I've been triumphed. Brilliant. Always me. It was pick on the fight, kid. <laughs> I, if I could really do magic, I would <laughs> be able to solve this, but I can't, so you have to wait while I undo this. Oh, this is ridiculous. And they've drawn on my cards too. Brilliant. Okay. This sucks. Let's give these a shuffle. Okay. Cool. Alright, now we should be good to begin. Deck shuffled. Brilliant. And just like that, the deck is in Mnemonica. So it's in full stack. If any of you know Mnemonica, it goes four of clubs, two of hearts, seven of diamonds, three of clubs, four of hearts, six of diamonds, ace of spades, nine of sp uh, five of hearts, nine of spades, two of spades, queen of hearts, three of uh, diamonds? Oh, don't even look at that one. Queen of clubs, <laughs> eight of hearts. So yeah, you get the point. It's in full stack. Uh, it's in full Mnemonica. And this is really what I do. It does two things. Um, a couple of years ago, I don't know if you guys are in the Black Club, I taught a tutorial on how to get rid of deck click by farrowing the deck face up to face down. So I do that every time I put my deck away. And just broad form, usually I undo it, but sometimes I do forget that it's farrowed face up to face down. I just do it in front of them. Um, but that gets rid of deck click. And then what I realized was, when I was doing it um, with a stack deck, that I would tell people the true story that, about the guy's triumph in my deck by taking it and just shuffling it face up and face down just to mess me over. And I realized that they didn't even need, they would do it with Mnemonica and when you take it out of that fire position, it goes back into order. And I realized they didn't even need a shuffle because they could see that it, my deck was messed up and then you can see then that the deck looks shuffled anyway. And I thought that's a great thing. It's, it, you begin with a deck that's been screwed up by your friends and, but also you, you, the deck is being protected from getting deck clicked by because the opposite's pushing down from the face and face down cards. Stop your deck from ever getting deck click. So I can have a, a if for me, if my audience believed more, they found it funny that my friends had screwed my deck up. I could there and then in front of them, reverse all the cards and be in order. And then the other thing I added was just in case you're performing for people who are really stringent, and it's not my idea to uh, farrow a deck into, into Monica, but I just anti farrowed it beforehand and then shuffled face up and face down because you can get a real good, um, really believable shuffle of a deck of cards from there into stack. So let me talk about what's going on. Basically you upjog every other card from your stack when it's in stack, which helps. So upjog every other card. I'll fast forward here. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have to every other card and strip it out the deck, okay? So I have every other card from stack here. So these would be all of the even numbers in my stack. And then, let's like, see if I can do a left-handed fan. No, these are all the odd numbers. I don't do card manipulation uh, from the stack. And then, now these are separated, you're gonna do a, a, it doesn't, the first one, this doesn't have to be a perfect faro. You can literally just shuffle these face up into face down. Like that, right? So now, when you spread through the deck, it legitimately looks like somebody shuffled your card face up and face down, because they have. This goes in the box, and you're ready to throw the deck away overnight or in your pocket, sit down in it. The good thing about this now is that if it's farrowed, I mean, if you don't want to riffle shuffle it, it won't 
get that click, which is for me a big issue because my house is humid and I live in Wales, so the heating's on, but it's cold and it just makes my deck all weird. So this is good to go. And now you take the deck out when you want to perform. You can tell a funny story about, or maybe your friends have triumphed you, but you can tell a funny story about how uh, the deck gets shuffled face up and face down. That's what other magicians do as a prank. It's kind of like kicking the football at your friend's face in school, just for, just for fun, you know? <laughs> so, but when you want to perform, you talk about how that happens, and you take out all the cards that are face up, and you remember the uh, the last card here, so it's the Ace of Hearts, and you put them back together, and you're like, okay, that's done. Now, in most people's eyes, that looks pretty damn fair, but just to add the extra convincer, you riffle, you find that Ace of Hearts then at the uh, halfway point of the deck, and now you're just gonna give this a perfect pharaoh. And you say, as you're choking, you say, let's give them a shuffle. Don't even, don't draw attention to it. Don't say, let's give these a really good shuffle or just need a we need to shuffle them. Just do it naturally as you're talking. Don't, don't say you're shuffling. Don't even bring attention to it. And now you are in New Monica. Four, two, seven, three, four, six, ace, nine, uh, five, nine, two, queen, three, queen, eight. You get it, so. <laughs> so that's my little tip. It's uh, how to, and you're, that's a real shuffle when you do that pharaoh. So you, that's a tip on how to really shuffle your deck into a stack. Hope you guys enjoy it. So just to recap again, guys, uh, this, you know, this isn't gonna suit all of you. This definitely suits my style, but um, I'm not a flashy performer. I, I, I don't like to do any anything that looks like flourishing or anything fancy because only because the, the 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 overall feel that I want to give to when I perform is is the feeling of real magic or that lack of a a, a box to define something with. So if I'm doing sleight of hand that looks flashy, it can take away from that and it doesn't suit me. So the way this suits me, it should look like somebody's come along, trying to mess you up by shuffling your deck face up, face down, or your friends having a laugh. It's just really what some decks look like when they're in the house and they've been left in a drawer in your family's house or your friends. They're screwed up. Take it out, oh, okay, funny joke, my friends think they're hilarious. Take that out, and then you give it one shuffle, which they're used to seeing, that's the most, like one of the most common shuffles is when they just wedge together, you know, a pharaoh. So you say, oh, whatever. Don't even say you're shuffling. Don't bring attention to it. Don't say, okay, we're just gonna give them a quick shuffle. Just talk, have a laugh, and then just do it as you're talking. Um, and that that suits me perfectly, because it, to me then, if, if you went to someone's house and you said, get a deck out the drawer, and they had, had some face up face down which is quite often the case chances are and you said shuffle let's play a game of cards they would flip them all up the right way and they do that wedge one which we call the pharaoh but they wedge it that's that's quite likely a scenario so i wanted it to look real i wanted to sort of mirror what people do i didn't want to look like i had skill um, and that's sort of that sort of just evolved from the whole deck click uh, solution i came up with years ago and then and then the idea of Farrowing into a stack, combining it into what should look like you're just taking a deck of cards, or somebody else is you, basically. I was just trying to make it look like what somebody else would do, and hopefully that works. So anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. In fact, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I I always want to learn too. I mean, I'm giving tips up, but I'm not a, I'm not a master of magic by any stretch of the imagination. Do you guys have anything to add? Do you, think I'm, do you think it's overkill? Do you want to go out and try it and see what people say? Do you think they call attention to it? They don't do it for me, but then I'm not, I don't combine that with flashy sleight of hand or anything like that. So drop a comment below, make sure you like the video. Definitely subscribe because it's gonna be a bunch more of these. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good time. Have a good weekend. Happy, f oh, wait, it's Friday today. Hope you've had a great weekend. <laughs>